to another episode of Steve Tries. You know, there could be times that you're wandering around your own hometown and say, you know what, I'm kind of thirsty. I could use something to drink. But you don't want to pay $2.50 for a little old bottle of soda about yay big. But wait, to the rescue comes your friendly local dollar store. They have a lot of stuff in there. Some of them you may have never seen before. That's where I come in. I've made it my point to go around to all the local dollar stores around here and find some of the otter sodas I've never seen before and try them out for the very first time right here on camera. And today, I have a trio of sodas from Hansen. Now, I know that Hansen makes a lot of quality stuff, um, but you know what, I've never seen soda from them like this, especially in a can this large. Usually, they only make soda that comes in a standard size can. So, right here, I have Hansen's Mandarin Lime. Ooh, Mandarin, taste the Asian rainbow or something. Whatever. Then we have Diet Hansen's Creamy Root Beer. I know what makes it so creamy, we'll find out. And, last but not least, we have Hansen's All Natural Cherry Vanilla Cram. They put a little extra apostrophe above the first E to kind of French it up and make it fancy. We'll find out if this can live up to their expectations. And, just like last time, I've got my handy dandy dry crackers here to cleanse my palate so I don't get all these sodas mixed up. Let's get down to it, shall we? Mm. Mm. Man. Mm. That is dry. Ugh. Here, Hansen is here. All right, we're gonna try out this mandarin lime first. Get a little orange smell. Let's see how it tastes. like a lemon lime soda, but with oranges instead of lemon. And honestly, I don't know, I think it has kind of a slightly weak flavor. I was expecting a little bit more of a kick out of this stuff, but apparently that's not what it's giving me. Alright, it's an okay soda. If you're into orange, Lime. Uh, I guess that would be the stuff in here. It's not bad, but I was expecting a little stronger. But I guess Hansen isn't known for making really strong flavors, just mellow flavors. So if they were going for a mellow flavor, um, they achieved their goal. But next we have our creamy root beer. And we're going to find out what makes it so creamy. But first, not so bad now that I've had something to drink. Brewery, this is the only diet one out of three. I don't. Oh, here we go. Zero calories, sugar-free. And apparently, all of them say no preservatives. These other two says they're made with real cane sugar. This one is sugar-free. I don't even know if it has an artificial sweetener in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! Soup 
Sutleros. Sutleros. Splenda brand. It's sweetened with Splenda. Now back when I worked at this grocery store, some lady came up to me after I was taking groceries out to her car. She told me that like uh, Splenda, I think it was. Yeah, Splenda. She had that stuff and it left her like partially paralyzed on one side of her body for six months. I'm not making any claims against the, the Splenda company. I'm just saying that's what I've heard. But I'm willing to take my chances with you guys. All right, try it out. Smells just like regular old root beer. Nothing wrong there. root beer. It's definitely diet root beer. Yep, it has that that diet, natural, like a natural artificial sweetener kind of taste. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure this would be much better if it weren't diet, but since it is diet, uh, definitely not my favorite out of the three. And what makes it even worse is it's in this nice big can here. Mm, I'm not one to waste food, so uh, this is going to have to get drunk. Maybe I can con someone else into drinking it. I was able to get some of my friends and family to uh, drink my, uh, my last round of sodas for me when I was through with them. Alright, Hanson, if you're out there, if there's not a diet, if there's a non-diet version of that, you know, let me know. Um, but that was the only one that was at the store. Hmm. dry there. Oh. Thankfully, I've saved my favorite of the three for last. The cherry vanilla cream. Now, like I said, I have not tried this stuff before, but I have a feeling this is going to be the stuff. I know last time I said that. Turns out I didn't like it, but this time, I think I'm going to choose a winner. smell the cherries in there. And I can definitely smell the vanilla in there. I think I may have found a winner. I've tasted it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. Really. This is some good stuff. taste the cherries. It's not as if they use like regular cherries. It's as if they use, you know, natural flavors with extracts of vanilla and Washington cherries. Washington cherries. I don't know what Washington cherries are. I guess that's what Washington cherries taste like. But um, my gaming group buys uh, a lot of soda from time to time when we go to uh, our games we play and stuff. And there's things like cherry canola, cherry cola, and then there's black cherry cola. And the cherry cola has kind of like this weak cherry taste, but just the black cherry soda has a really strong cherry taste to it. And it's my favorite of the two. And this stuff tastes like black cherries. So maybe Washington cherries are black cherries, but either way, it has a strong cherry taste. So if you're looking for cherry, that's your go-to soda. Now the vanilla, <clears throat> well, let me see again. It does have a slight vanilla taste to it now that I'm 
concentrating on vanilla and not the overwhelming cherry flavor. And the creme, cream, cream. I, I, I don't know about the creamy, but it definitely does go down smooth. So I am very pleased with this one. I would have to say I were to rank them from least to most favorite. Obviously, it would have to be least favorite would be the diet root beer. Our taste the Asian rainbow mandarin lime. Lastly, and most certainly not the least, is our cherry vanilla cream. All right. So anyhow, that concludes the episode. So the next time you're wandering around your own hometown and you need something to drink, check out your friendly local dollar store. That's it for me. I'm signing out.